Hey everyone, Andrew Edwards here, and in this edition of Bleeding Edge TV, we're going to be um, reviewing the Jawbone Jam Box. I have one right here, and um, it's a pretty cool gadget. It's actually a portable loudspeaker that you can take with you. We actually unboxed it uh, a couple episodes ago. Take it with you. It connects to your smartphone, um, any Bluetooth device actually, and it also has an auxiliary input mm. so that you can plug in things that, that aren't Bluetooth, and it's, it's, it's small, but the sound is big so we're actually gonna open it up review it, and give you a look at how it all works stay tuned right here we have the jawbone jam box it is like we said in the opening it's a Bluetooth loudspeaker what that means is is it's basically a speaker as you can see it looks like a speaker, it looks like a small speaker that will play whatever you send to it using Bluetooth. So we're going to open it up and actually this whole box is not uh, it's not that high. It's actually just what you see there. So let's open it up and show you what I mean. Like we said, it's portable, works with phones, computers, tablets, other Bluetooth devices as well. It also has an auxiliary input so that you can even use it with devices that don't have Bluetooth. As long as it has an audio auxiliary output, which is basically a headphone jack work to get this off for a moment. The nice thing about the jam box is that uh, many people have said that the audio sounds great. It's got two acoustic drivers on the inside as, long as, a, as well as a small dome for wide audio spectrum and it outputs up to 85 decibels. Right now I'm just taking out all the accessories mm -hmm. as you can see. They include everything that you'd want. You have your auxiliary stereo cable which goes in you know into one device and then into the jam box. Easy. They give you a 12 inch micro USB cable. They also give you a 60 inch USB cable, same micro USB cable. So it's the same, you know, tips on both sides, but one is short if you just want to, you know, plug it into something close. And then one is 60 inches, which is nice. Five feet of, uh, of room, again, included in the box. Here you have the charger, the AC adapter. So you just plug in either one of these or any other micro USB cable you have right in there. Plug the other end into the jam box and it charges up. The jam box can play for up to 10 hours. So battery supports up to 10 hours of uh, playback time depending on what you're playing and how loud. And then it comes with a little carrying case as well. That's the jam box. This right here is the Jawbone jam box. So as you can see again, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little, uh, let's see what this one is called. Hex, this is the hex effect. So when you buy these, they have different um, if you can see, there's just a little pattern on the front of the speaker all actually going all around it. When you buy them, they all have different uh, little effects on there. The blue one looks more wavy like water. There's a red one. Um, the black one has diamonds. The red one has little boxes. There's also a limited edition green and a lim this is a limited edition gold, like we said, gold hex. And there's also a charity water version, which is yellow which has the same uh, design, the little waves that the, the blue one would have. But that one, when you purchase it, it doesn't cost any more money than any other jam box, but $50 of that purchase goes to Charity Water, which is a charity that helps people in uh, Africa actually get water so they don't have to hike an hour each way, literally, sometimes way more than that, to get water for the day. They'll bring water to their communities, and that means the kids can go to school instead of spending their day fetching water all the time. So anyway, you can look more into that. Go to um, jawbone.com, look up the Jambox charity water version if that interests you. But back to the technology at hand. So here on top, you've got uh, your plus and minus. Those are obviously gonna be some, I assume, volume buttons. I think there's a power button right there. On the side, you've got your micro USB port that's for charging. You've got your auxiliary input on off right there and pairing. So you can push it up a little bit more if you wanna pair it, I guess, to a new Bluetooth device. So we're actually going to try it if, if they're going to see if there's any charge on here because we want to turn it on and test it out. But it hasn't been charged at all. I guess I can plug it in using the, the AC adapter, which I think I'm going to have to do because there's supposed to be an LED that turns on and I don't see it happening. We'll use the AC adapter to plug it into the wall and hopefully that will give us some power. Now naturally, like I said, this will last 10 hours once charged up. So you can actually throw this in the car, put it on your desk. Um, pretty much anywhere you want audio and it's not just for music you can take phone calls on this so if you have an, have an office or a conference room 
and you want to be able to use your, say, your smartphone for a conference call, you make your call and switch the audio to this. This has a microphone built in, and you'll hear through this, and they'll hear you through this, and you don't have to just put your phone away. As long as you're within 33 feet, you're good because it's Bluetooth. So let me plug this in, get it into the wall, and we'll see. If so I just plugged it in to the wall. It's blinking red, as you can see right there. And what that means is that the battery's low. So we already knew that. Um, what I'm going to do is pair it now to my, to my iPhone. I have an iPhone right here. I'm going to pair it to this and then give you a look at um, what it can do. So I'm going to flip the switch, I believe, just to hold it down. Maybe I'm... Sandbox is in oh, pairing gosh. mode. All right. Waiting for device to connect. So it's pairing right now. So I'm going to go into my iPhone. Bluetooth settings. General Bluetooth. And I have a bunch of things in there, but that's all right. There's a jam box by Jawbone at the bottom there. I'm going to pair that. And it should ask me, for, I believe it's going to ask me for a code. And if it does, the code is going to be four zeros. Jam box paired. Didn't ask me for anything. So now that the jam box is paired, I can go into any music app you have. Like, I'll go into audio right now. And I will just play some random piece of music that is not copyrighted. So it's not going to be the best song you've ever heard. But All right, So that's the jam box making that music. As you can see right here, my Bluetooth settings. I have some Apple TVs. I have an iPhone. And the jam box is what's selected. So that's what's making that noise. You can turn this up a little bit. pretty loud. Let me switch it up. And the other thing you can do is um, make phone calls. Charging. Okay. Pause that. I'm going to make a phone call using the same device very quickly. A lot of devices will only do music streaming or hands-free calling. Uh, then the Jambox does both, which is nice. So let me make a phone call here. Come through there, I assume. There we go. Hi, this is Peter Peterson with Strategies. I'm sorry that I missed a call today. Normally, I pick right up. Hey, we're uh, just recording an episode right now. And we're demonstrating the jam box, and I just wanted to say hello. All right, so there you go. Um, and if I was playing music, it, if I hadn't paused it, it would flip right back into that music as soon as I call ended. Um, a couple other things of note with the jam box it's similar to a Bluetooth headset. If you look here in my status bar next to the battery indicator, you'll see the Bluetooth headset indicator and what that's showing is how much power I have in the jam box right now as you can see it's still pretty low but it's nice to be able to see that right on your phone and um, let's see if we can hear the voicemail I just left turn it up speaker we're uh, just recording an episode right now and we're demonstrating sounds good so yeah that's it that's really it that's all it does but that's like we said it's very convenient it's very portable let me unplug it for a moment. Very light, very portable. It looks cool. Good sound. You can throw it in your car. You can take it anywhere. Throw it in a bag. Take it with you on vacation. If you're, you know, if you're a traveler and you want to have, you know, better sound than what your computer speakers or your recharge battery now. All right. <laughs> your computer speakers or your tablet speakers or your smartphone speakers have to offer. Grab one of these. You can get them for $199 at uh, Jawbone.com. But if you go to Amazon, I just checked earlier today, um, the black model of this, the black jam box, cost, uh, what was it, $168. So that saves you $31. Um, and if you live in any state other than the state we live in here in Washington, there's no tax on that. So go to Amazon.com if you want the black version. All the other versions are also cheaper than um, full retail price. You can get them for $179 at Amazon rather than $199 that you get them for directly from uh, Jawbone. So that's pretty much it. That is the Jawbone Jambox portable loudspeaker.
connects to your gadgets using Bluetooth. You can also connect them through the auxiliary port. So pretty much anything that has a headphone jack or Bluetooth will work with this. It's very easy, very convenient, and it's updatable, by the way. Plug it into the computer, it'll download updates. Um, one of the recent ones gave it 3D virtual surround sound, so they're always updating these to give them new features. That's it. Stay tuned for more vicarious thrills through opening new gear. I'm Andrew Edwards.